For this problem, we want to find the domain of the function f of x equals the square root of x squared minus 16. First, we want to set up the equation x squared minus 16 is greater than or equal to 0. This is because the domain is when there is not a negative number underneath the square root. To make this easier, we're going to solve for x squared minus 16 equals 0. If we add 16 to both sides, we get x squared equals 16. Using the square root property, we get x equals plus or minus the square root of 16, which becomes x equals plus or minus 4. Now that we know that the function is equal to 0 when x is equal to plus or minus 4, we need to test whether the square root will be negative or positive when x is less than negative 4, between negative 4 and 4, and when x is greater than 4. First, we'll test when x is less than negative 4 by plugging in negative 5. So we get negative 5 squared minus 16, which equals 25 minus 16, which equals 9, which is greater than 0. This means that the square root will be positive when x is less than negative 4. Now we'll test when x is between negative 4 and 4 by plugging in 0. So we get 0 squared minus 16, which is equal to 0 minus 16, which is equal to negative 16, which is less than 0. So there will be a negative number underneath the square root when x is between negative 4 and 4. Now we'll test when x is greater than 4 by plugging in 5. So we get 5 squared minus 16, which is equal to 25 minus 16, which is equal to 9, which is greater than 0. So there will be a positive number underneath the square root when x is greater than 4. Now we know that the domain is the set of numbers between negative infinity and negative 4 included, and the set of numbers between 4 included and positive infinity. And this is the final answer.